Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. My name is Phil and I've lived aboard my narrowboat on the canal system for over 30 years. I share my home with my two cats, Bushka and Midge, and we spend our days travelling around the canal system and making videos. I'm on the Ashby Canal near Dadlington and Bridge 33 is just ahead. In this video I'll be carrying on to Sutton Cheney Wharf where I've got to stop and get water etc. And then we'll be going on through Shenton and then mooring up a little place called Far Coton, which is close to Bridge 37. So before we go any farther let's have a look at the map. Our trip begins at the yellow marker at the bottom of the map and finishes at the yellow marker at the top of the map. I'm stopping briefly at Bridge 34 which is Sutton Cheney Wharf for the boaters facilities but you'll notice it's a very very rural area we're definitely out in the wilds now path is on the left. These boats on the right are long-term permanent moorings and there's quite a lot of them. They go all the way up to bridge 34 and just ahead here we've got quite a sharp bend so you do need to go careful through here especially in the summer when it's busy.
here's a little cafe and as you can guess it's going to get very busy here at certain times. The L sand point is just to the left side of this building. The water points and rubbish facilities are just after these two moored boats here. Now there is talk about them removing the rubbish disposal points. Uh, that's going to be a really bad thing if that happens. They were still in operation when I was here, but it may be gone when you come through. Well, that's that done. Off we go again. These boats ahead of me here are on the visitor moorings, so you can stop here if there's room. There are quite nice moorings here on the left, but it can get very busy on the towpath in the summer because people will go to the cafe and then they'll walk through the woods, cross the railway bridge just up ahead and then walk back down the towpath to the cafe car park again. So there will be a steady stream of people and dogs and all sorts here, so it's, it's not quite as peaceful as it looks, but it is a nice place. There up ahead is the disused railway bridge. You can cross over there to go to the woods on your right.
This looks nice. I tried to moor here once, years ago, but it is very shallow. Just because there's metal piling doesn't always mean it's a good place to stop. The canal now bends very sharply to the left. In the summer you can be fairly sure that you'll meet another boat coming the other way. We're actually on a high embankment now, but you will find that the trees on either side do block your view of the surrounding countryside. Up ahead the canal passes over the Shenton Aqueduct. Shenton is a tiny little village to the left of here. There are some steps leading down to the road and there's a small farm shop. They sell meat and honey and things. I've not been in there so I can't tell you exactly what they sell. Um, I think it's a bit limited to be honest. But there's nothing else around here. We're about probably about two miles away from Market Bosworth. Um, so if you've got a bike you can go there but the shopping there isn't very good either they've just got a single co-op store which frankly isn't very good but it's better than nothing i think that building you can see now is the farm shop
this looks like a nice place to stop. Unfortunately, there's no cats at the end of this video because my camera did throw a wobbly. But anyway, the journey will continue in the next video. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.